Hello everyone. Today we will discuss the topic water. In this topic, we will discuss the sources of water, impurities of water, difference difference between hard and soft water, what is hardness, types of hardness, unit of hardness, disadvantages of hard water in domestic as well as industrial uses, characteristics of drinking or potable water. So water is made up of tiny molecules of hydrogen and oxygen and each one is so small that you cannot see it even with the most powerful microscope. Pure water has no color, no taste and doesn't smell of anything. About 71% of the earth's surface is water covered and the oceans hold about 96.5% of all earth's water. Water exists in three forms on the earth solid, liquid and gas. After air, water is the most common, important and useful compound for surviving of all living organisms. Without water, nobody can survive. It is very important for biochemical process. It regulates the body temperature. It is used in laboratories, industrial process, irrigation, steam generator, besides drinking, bathing, sanitary, etc. Human uses the water in agriculture. The most important for the agriculture is for irrigation as I already told you. For drinking, for washing, recreation for example, swimming, water skiing, boating, surfing and diving, industrial application, water is also used in power generations. Sources of water. Sources of water includes rain water. In surface water, we have river water, lake water, sea water. In underground water, for example, well water, spring water. Rain water is the purest form of the natural water because it is obtained as a result of evaporation from the surface water. Water is found in free state as ice, snow, water vapor as well as in the combined state. Pure water has pH 7 that is neutral, it is colorless, odorless and tasteless. It is also poor conductor of heat and electricity. So next is impurities in water. There are following impurities which have been found as common present in water. The first one is dissolved impurities which includes organic compounds, inorganic salts and gases. In inorganic salts, it includes bicarbonates, chlorides, nitrates, sulfates of sodium, magnesium, potassium, calcium, etc. In the organic salt impurities, they are generally soluble organic compounds obtained by the domestic sewage, industrial waste or decay of dead animals or plants, etc. In the gases, they are generally from industries like carbon dioxide, H2S, ammonia, oxides of nitrogen, sulfur dioxide, etc. The next is suspended or colloidal impurities. For example, sand, clay, lime, etc. They are present in water get suspended. The heavy particles settle down after standing sometimes while small, smaller particles remain in the water as colloidal particles. There is also harmful microorganisms, so various pathogenic microorganisms like bacteria, viruses, etc. also enter in water through waste and sewage. These are the major causes of various diseases. Now next is hardness. What is hardness? It is the characteristics of water by which water does not form leather with soap. Actually, hardness measures the capacity of precipitation of soap. In other words, it is the soap destroying property due to the presence of bicarbonates, sulfates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium. So when soap comes in contact with hard water, the calcium ion and the magnesium ion present in hard water combines with the soap and forms insoluble sticky precipitates. 
that's why hard water does not produce leather with soap when all the calcium ion and magnesium ion get consumed then hard water becomes soft and forms leather with soap as it is represented by this equation so what is the major cause of hardness of water it is mainly due to four dissolved compounds that is calcium bicarbonate magnesium bicarbonate calcium sulfate and magnesium sulfate the less common reasons are calcium chlorides and nitrates magnesium chloride and nitrates iron magnesium salts aluminum compounds etc so how the hardness classified hardness are of two types number 1 temporary hardness number 2 permanent hardness temporary hardness it is due to the presence of bicarbonates of calcium and magnesium and can be removed by boiling it is also known as alkaline hardness or carbonate hardness whereas permanent hardness it is due to the presence of sulfates nitrates and chlorides of calcium and magnesium and it cannot be removed by boiling it is also known as non alkaline hardness and non carbonate hardness so next is hardness is always expressed in terms of calcium carbonate why for comparing the hardness of different sample of water it would be easier if the hardness caused by different salts like bicarbonate sulfate chloride of calcium and magnesium may be expressed in terms of single salt like calcium carbonate there are following reasons for selecting calcium carbonate as a standard for expressing hardness number 1 calcium carbonate is complete insoluble salt thus easily precipitated during water treatment the amount of hardness is calculated by weighing the dried precipitate and second point is its molecular weight is exactly 100 so easy for the calculation but this is a old fact so how you will measure the hardness measurement of hardness is the equivalent of calcium carbonate for a hardness causing substance is given by amount of substance causing hardness in milligram per liter into equivalent mass of calcium carbonate divided by equivalent mass of hardness producing substance so if w is equals to amount of substance causing hardness in milligram per liter and e is the equivalent mass of hardness producing substance then equivalent of calcium carbonate is equals to w into 50 upon e as equivalent mass of calcium carbonate is equals to 50 okay now the difference between hard water and soft water hard water reacts with soap to form a scum so everyone need more soap to form a leather it contains dissolved compounds of calcium and magnesium from rocks they are generally of two types permanent and temporary examples are rain water and distilled water soft water in this soap forms a leather readily not as good for everyone as no calcium present which is good for bones and teeth they cheaper than hard water because less soap is needed no lime scale to damage appliances unlike temporary hard water examples are sea water river water and tap water now the unit of hardness so unit of hardness are part per million milligram per liter clark's degree and french degree what is ppm ppm it is the part of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness per 10 to the power 6 part of water milligram per liter it is the number of milligram of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness present in 1 liter of water clark's degree it is the part of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness per 70000 parts of water whereas french degree is the part of calcium carbonate equivalent hardness per 10 to the power 5 parts per of water so the unit of hardness is parts per million milligram per liter clark's degree and french degree and the relationship between 
this four unit of hardness is 1 ppm is equals to 1 milligram per liter is equals to 0.1 Clark's French degree and 0 0.07 Clark's degree. Now the disadvantages of hard water. There is wastage of fuel when we are using the hard water. There is formation of scales on metallic boilers, more consumption of soap and detergent, more consumption of fuel due to scaling formation in the boilers in industries, discoloration of foods, short life of clothes due to deposition of salt in fabrics, disturbance of dyeing process, iron and manganese salt produces colored spots on fabrics thus it spoils the texture of clothes. Hard water causes difficulties in the crystallization of sugar and vegetables and other food like pulses do not cook well in hard water. So what are the characteristics of drinking or the potable water? Potable water is actually a water which is safe to drink. So the characteristics are the drinking water it should be colorless, clean, transparent and odorless. It is pleasant in test. Turbidity should not exceed 10 ppm. It is free from obje objectionable minerals like lead, arsenic, manganese, etc. It is free from the dissolved gases like sulfur dioxide, etc. Alkalinity should not be too high and it should be reasonably soft. The TDS that is total dissolved solute should be less than 500 ppm and it is free from hardness, suspended particles and pathogenic microorganisms. Now we will have revision with some multiple choice, choice questions. So first question is temporary hardness is caused due to magnesium carbonate, calcium sulphate magnesium sulfate or magnesium chloride? The answer is A that is magnesium carbonate. So temporary hardness is caused due to magnesium carbonate. Now next is which of the following causes alkalinity in natural water? Potassium carbonate, potassium bicarbonate, sodium carbonate or all F of the above. So the answer is D that is all of the above. So the alkalinity in natural water is caused by potassium carbonate, potassium bicarbonate, sodium carbonate. The next question is the excess presence of which of the following causes the teeth of children discolored. Options are fluorides, chlorides, hardness, or all of the above? So the answer is fluoride that is option A. So the excess presence of fluoride is the main reason for discoloring of teeth of the children. Now next question is permanent hardness is caused due to options are magnesium, magnesium carbonate, magnesium bicarbonate, magnesium sulphate or all of the above. Answer is C that is magnesium sulphate. So thank you. Save water.